I'm Dorothy Curran. About 20 years ago, Betty Lou Cummings invited me to be her co-chair to help raise $300,000 for the Westport Public Library Capital Campaign by creating a community mural. This is the result. 26 feet 4 inches long, 6 feet 2 inches high, 1,927 donor spaces, 1,162 tiles. 84 of those are historical pictorial tiles. 85 of them are bookshelf tiles with individual book spines on it. And 944 of them are waves from the river. And if you stand at the far end of this mural and look out towards the river, you will see how it is designed to shimmer like a river. Marion Grebo, the artist, is a gifted ceramic sculptor. She does human forms. She also did these abstract forms for us and put together the donor mural. When Betty Lou and I were working on figuring out the top 84 milestones in American history, we also figured out ways that we could make this interesting for donors to purchase. And we created a grid. The history of what is now Westport starts at the far end in 1637 and carries all the way to 1998. People were interested to buy specific locations within the mural. They aligned their location with when their family came to town and what part of town they lived in, lots of different reasons, lots of different decisions. Sometimes they bought tiles to honor people who they had lost. Sometimes they were honoring family arrivals and celebrations, special occasions. They took action to purchase these donor murals based on our promise that it would be here for them in perpetuity. Next week, that may change. This wall is slated to come down. Betty Lou, Marion Grebo, the artist, and I were startled to learn that the, there is no written plan for how to take it down, how to store it, what to do if tiles fracture here, or two years hence, when the renovation is all done, where to put it next. And we're very concerned about that. Change is a law of nature. We understand that. Until 1835, Fairfield ended on this side of the river and Norwalk started on the other side. Every day the tide comes in, the tide goes out, the river remains. I hope that the names will too.